Hey besties, welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Thursday, I lied, it's Friday. And ooh baby, I just left a fitting room try on video situation and it was bleak, let me tell you. But we survived, this person is going to hit my car, I have the right away. I also have to pay for my parking, actually I think it might be free, hold on. Oh hello, thank you so much. Embarrassing when you try to scan <laughs> a parking ticket. The lady's like, hello, she's like right there. Anyway, these are some one-way streets and I'm confused, so let's regroup in a moment. Okay. Hello, welcome back. So, um, what? Back from where? I was at the parking oh, garage earlier. I forgot you were vlogging. I didn't Yeah. Know. I wasn't a part of that. <laughs> no, you weren't. I'm currently going very slow on the freeway, but we're going to Disneyland this afternoon. We're so excited. We're going to meet up with Drew's cousin and her husband who we- Excuse me, sir. It's not how that works. That's a shoulder. This is the Wendy's. Oh, he's running into a tree. Bush. Oh. 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 No. Either their car is breaking down or someone's- Someone's gonna barf. Yeah. I don't wanna look. He went way back there, so I didn't see anything. Sorry, nothing to report. Darn. But anyways, um, Drew's cousin, his family basically is who we always go to Disneyland with, but it's like a smaller group today. We're actually like low-key crashing their anniversary. They invited yeah, us. Yeah, they did invite us. Um, and so we're gonna just spend the evening there. It's about 2.30. We're gonna get there around three. We're gonna have a fun little Disney day and then I'm not entirely sure what we're getting up to for the rest of the weekend, but we'll figure it out. So Disney day slash night commence. You need a sobby bee. I need a Savvy B <laughs> and stat. <Yeah. laughs> to Disney we go. Match it again. <laughs> you made it. I'm wearing the shirt that I wore to bed like two nights already this week, but I have a bunch of sweat profusely, so who cares? A couple of days later oh hi moose how are you i almost stepped on you come here it's a couple days later it's sunday now and yesterday we took the day to just absolutely chill i took like three naps it was glorious we went to the grove in the morning and like got a couple of copies of keys made drew bought some books things like that but now we're getting ready it's sunday morning and we're gonna head to the farmer's market we're gonna walk to one of many farmer's markets that i love like i love that there are so many in la like there's you could go anywhere so we're gonna walk and get just like some random things i was gonna say i showed you last week but that was for a main channel video i don't think that video is out yet but it will be soon and yeah we're just gonna like see what we can get we're really gonna try we've been like post mating a lot since we've been here which there's nothing wrong with that but we're just gonna try to like eat like more vegetables and stuff this week so we're gonna do that here's my threw it together in two seconds outfit of the day for the farmer's market it's kind of chilly this morning I love it. Don't mind Moo, <laughs> he just lives on this rug in this sunny spot. But um, this flannel is thrifted, I love it. This workout set is from Girlfriend Collective. This is like their classic Paloma bra. I need every single color of this. I already have multiples of the ones that I have. And then I think these, I got these leggings in like 2020, so I don't think they have this color anymore. This hat is from Amazon and I'm gonna throw on like maybe some workout shoes, Vans, Converse, I'm not sure. Maybe my slides and we're gonna walk to the farmer's market. 
Oh, maybe I'll wear my Birkenstocks. <laughs> maybe not. Converse it is. I feel like I've been doing so much since I got here. Like we've just had so many plans and we've been out and about doing stuff. And I definitely think I've filmed a lot of stuff, but I also don't think I've filmed a lot of stuff. So I feel like kind of behind, like since I got here, like I just feel like I need a week to catch up. Kind of weird, I think it's just moving and like getting settled into a new spot. The good thing is too, is that tomorrow, wait, is today the fourth or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the fourth. And so far the fireworks haven't been too bad here where we live, like where we lived in LA a few years ago, it was like 12 hours nonstop of fireworks. <laughs> so hopefully for Layla's sake, our poor little scared baby, <laughs> they won't be too, too bad this weekend, but um, we'll see. We did recently, well, my mom like probably a year ago bought her a thunder shirt, I think it's called. And it does help a little bit. And we have like CBD and melatonin for her and stuff. So we're, we're pulling out all the stops this weekend, poor thing. But I just gotta be honest, like um, the last few years, we haven't celebrated 4th of July. <laughs> it's like, what are you celebrating? and I haven't really had a chance to like touch on that yet but I mean I feel like I'm far away it's been a rough time here in the US and with the recent overturning of Roe v Wade and I mean just years and years of stuff also just like I've heard so many things and gotten so many messages from you know marginalized people indigenous people black people etc who are like what what have you been celebrating this whole time you know, so um, yeah, I just wanted to like send some love to anyone who's also been struggling because I don't really show those moments. I'm, I'm not like instantly thinking of pulling out a vlog camera when I'm like having an emotional moment over like the state of this country or, you know, when I want to scream into a pillow or whatever, but just know that like I'm here with you. I guess I haven't had a chance to slow down and like talk about it, but it's fucked up. I can't think of anything else to say about it. It's just terrible. It's a hellfire, this fucking floating rock that we live on and the people that are hell bent on destroying it. So, okay. Anyways, with that said, oh, featuring my mess in the background that I still haven't put away. Let's go to the farmer's market. <laughs> Last week, we really messed up by not bringing a cooler bag because we had a lot of frozen stuff and we walked, so we're ready to go. The best part about walking through neighborhoods in LA is creeping on all of the houses. And we just walked past this massive property. It had almost what looked like a play yard or something. And I go, is that a school? And we kept walking and I go, oh no, it's a house. <laughs> it's normal. It looked like the it, size of a school, it but it was like a house. <laughs> it was a, Drew thinks it was a mausoleum. It was a stone, like. But it was a house. It was, there's people entombed in that. We're back from the farmer's market. This cabinet will not stay open. Okay, let's try the other side. Oh, okay, we're good. Thought I would show a little bit of a farmer's market haul, cause why not? First of all, we got some king salmon. Cause we're gonna do some salmon bowls for dinner. And it looks real nice. It was a very expensive piece of salmon, so it better be good. And it is like wild. I'm gonna put that in the fridge right now. We got some hummus. This is cilantro and jalapeno hummus. And then, I'm not a big fan of cilantro, but I can do it in this hummus sometimes. And then this is an avocado garlic dip. It has avocado, fresh garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and spices. So, got both of those. Then, for produce, we got, oh, well first, we got some kettle corn. They had like a whole stand where they had either like kettle corn, caramel corn, or like a mix of the both. This was the small bag, so that will be consumed in no time at all. We got some asparagus, some broccoli. What else? We got these, uh, they came in like little cartons, but, but they had to put them in a bag. So it's like a zucchini, yellow squash mix, and then some Brussels sprouts. And I wanted the little cartons, but they put them in there so they wouldn't like spill in our bag. Harry's berries are the best strawberries I've ever had in my entire life. We got them last week. We've had them before, like from coming to visit and going to farmer's markets and stuff. It's so freaking good. I'm so excited. I love them. I eat them just like candy. They're so good. They're like by far the sweetest strawberries I've ever had. They're like the TikTok strawberries that we tried one time in a vlog, but like way better. I got some fresh squeezed OJ. I just got a little one because I've never had this one before. I don't remember what the farm was called, but like I wanted to Not test it out. Yeah. 
dishwasher. Drew doesn't like pulp. I don't mind it. And then this little fruit stand, I got some pluots, which is like a uh, plum apricot mix. Got some apricots and a plum. And that's our, oh, and flowers. Cute. They're so cute. We got a little wildflower bouquet with some sunflowers. So beautiful. We're gonna, We're gonna use switch out our marigolds from last week. And that's it. That's our farmer's market haul. So now what I think we're gonna do is walk the dog, maybe make some breakfast, <laughs> maybe make some breakfast and potentially go to the Melrose Trading Post because we're still on the hunt for like decor, like art and stuff for the walls. Although I have gotten a few comments of people saying that like if you use like 12 command Velcro strips on a piece of art, it will stay on your wall. Like if you just like, do the shit out of it. Do the shit. <laughs> if you just strip the shit out of it. You hand me the kitchen chair. Yeah. Do the shit, babe. You gotta do the shit. Do so, shit TBD on that. What am I handing you? The kitchen chair. Oh, okay. Gotta go by. All right, we're home from the Melrose Trading Post. Here is a haul of everything we got. We got some art prints. This one is by Andy Gechtman, I think is how you say it, Getman. And this is the info for that shop. And we got this like cool kind of funky print. And then this one was just like a vintage, like secondhand one. That was like $10. And then we found this one that has mushrooms. Layla, come here. <laughs> and then we had to get this one. It's Tina from Bob's Burgers. So cute. So. We're gonna add some color onto this wall because this is where we're at right now and it's not that cute. So we definitely need to make some improvement. And then this one we can probably just stick, right? Like here, down, no, right there. Sure, why not? Can we move this to this wall? Something bigger, maybe like bigger part of this. Mm -hmm. Art. Mm -hmm. I really love the emotion in this one. I mean, sure, that'll do for now. It's definitely not perfect, but I think we're getting somewhere. Like, it's actually not too bad. So, quick little gallery wall tour. This we got from Sunbeam Vintage. This we got from a random store at the Pike Place Market, I think is what it's called, in Seattle, like the public market. This we got at a store where we used to live in LA. It's a store called Necro Necromance. It's like a block away from where we used to live. I think both of these bugs are from there as well. That frame is thrifted, that we got today, and that we got today. So we have like an entirely either secondhand or like small business gallery wall how cute we're still not a hundred percent sure what to do on this wall because we don't want anything to be like too too busy but it's also a walkway so we can't really have like you know a big mirror or anything right there there's no real place to like conceal if we wanted like a lamp or anything so i don't exactly know what we're gonna do with this wall but like i'm pretty happy with that that's pretty cute it's a good step ignore how weird my hat looks but we're in the kitchen now making breakfast or it's brunch because it's literally almost 2 p.m it's lunch it's yeah, it's brunch lunch, but we got a couple shirts at the trading post never got show So the first one I got is a Disneyland shirt and it's poo and it's yellow tie-dye and it says oh honey <laughs> That is so cute. I love that and then Drew found a Sailor Moon shirt that was free of charge and um, it's got like this cute acid wash moment so those were the other things we got and we're gonna make some like open face avocado toast sandwiches I guess for breakfast so it's gonna be like avocado maybe a little bit of thin sliced tomato we've got some eggs maybe some greens some chili onion crunch it's gonna be good i also think i'm gonna do a separate piece of toast like a sweet toast and a savory toast and the sweet one i'm gonna use this maple almond butter that we got at the farmer's market last weekend it's so good it's like candy it's by avila and sons farms llc i'm gonna mash some avocado 
For the avocado, I'm just gonna keep it simple and do like salt, pepper, maybe a little garlic powder, but I usually do like everything but the bagel seasoning. I'll do some salt, some pep. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, am I right? Another thing I was influenced by, I forgot to mention, um, I think it was Christina Zias on Instagram, and she recommended this Happy Egg brand of eggs. We were using the Vital Farms ones, and they're really good, but she had said that these were like the orangest yolk she had ever had, and girl, she was right. They are so orange, so if you see these, they're really expensive. They're like six, seven dollars, something like that, but I just have to have orange egg yolks. I don't know if it's like, a placebo thing, but to me, it just feels like they taste so much better and fresher. Drew made us some bacon, that's ready to go. My eggs are scrambled, he does fried eggs. Our toast is almost ready. Toast number one, we have a layer of avocado. I like a thin layer, don't hate on me, okay? We're gonna do some everything but the bagel seasoning, why not? Then, I don't usually like tomato, but Today it just sounded kind of good, which is weird. Then I'm gonna do some bacon. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going for it. Chili and crunch from Trader Joe's. We're trying to finish this before we try the other one that we got in the last vlog, but it is so good on eggs. We'll do some of that, and then we'll do like a couple greens. We normally would do just arugula. We were gonna get it at the farmer's market, and the one that we saw it just wasn't that great, and the bag was huge. Wait, just do like a half a pound of a little bit of that. And then on my sweet one, doing almond butter, maple almond butter, and banana. Bananas have started smelling and tasting a little funky to me lately. Not bad, but slightly off. This is so much food. I'm a little ahead of ourselves here. That's okay. Okay, um, how good does that look? What an iconic brunch. All right, I'm gonna try this. Mm. Very tasty but messy, so gotta go by.